Hey, Jim Schlexer with the CEO Project. When you borrow money, you go through a massive pile of due diligence from your bank, making sure that you're a reliable organization and you're a good risk for them to loan money. But I wanna flip that script just a little bit and advocate that you need to look at the bank you're doing business with because there's a coming bank crisis that nobody's talking about. And you can figure out if your bank has a problem or not quite quickly. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is, as we return to office from COVID, from the pandemic, most people are finding that on the order of 50% of the office space is needed for them to effectively run their business. Why? Because people are hybrid, people are hoteling their spaces, and many people are fully remote. They're never coming back. So it's about 50%. Now this is gonna massively affect class A and class B buildings, office buildings, particularly downtown buildings that have a commute affiliated with getting into the office. So you can imagine that as the tenants fall off of their leases, they're gonna come back and try to get half the amount of space that they have today. Now, for those of you that don't know how buildings are evaluated, they take all of the rent, they add it up and they put a multiplic multiplication factor on it and that's what that building is worth. In other words, it's worth how much free cash flow it has. What happens when the building is half full of tenants? The answer is the value of the building drops massively. In fact, it drops approximately in half. If you're the bank that has provided a mortgage on that building and the building is now worth half as much, they are upside down on their mortgage. In other words, they have this amount of debt, $100 million of debt, and they now have a building that's worth $50 million. That's gonna cause a crisis as they have to recognize that loss in their portfolios, and it's gonna put a lot of banks in trouble, maybe liquidity trouble. So if your bank has a large amount of commercial real estate, rentable office type commercial real estate in their portfolio, you may wanna think about whether you're gonna stay with them because they are gonna be under stress in the next two to three years as these leases run off.